welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. So you did read the title right. This is not clickbait. We're going to be talking about two specific ingredients that actually have insects in them and animals in them. I'll tell you more, but let me give you a little background. So I decided to start researching this because I buy all types of makeup, everything from high end to drugstore to everything in between. And I'm starting to see more and more products labeled either cruelty free or vegan and both. So I wanted to know what exactly does a vegan product mean? Like what does it mean if the product is vegan? So that sparked my interest. So I did some digging, I did some research, I read some books, and I was actually shocked by what I found that a lot of the ingredients that are used that are used to make makeup products actually have animal products in them. I did not know that, that's really shocking to me. I'm wondering if you're watching this video, is that shocking to you? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'm talking about whether you're vegan, vegetarian, whether you eat meat, whether you eat pepperoni like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I want to know, did you guys know that? Because that was actually really shocking to me. I am not vegan. I was vegan for a year and I was vegetarian for about five years, but I'm not anymore. I do eat meat, but I was just shocked. And I'm, I want to know about like what I'm eating, the ingredients I'm eating and what I'm putting on myself. So that's what sparked my interest. So just a little background. All right, so let's talk about the first product that I was shocked. It's not a product, an actual ingredient. So the first one is, um, it's called Natural Red Number 4. So if you see this ingredient, I'll put the name of it on the screen. If you see this ingredient in anything, you usually find it in lipsticks and blushes and anything that has a red tone. It can't even be eyeshadows also. That is actually made from the cochineal insect. Wasn't that shocking? So this is what it looks like, the cochineal insect, and um, they actually use that insect. What they do is they gather those insects and they actually kind of boil them to get the red color that you see in uh, a lot of lipsticks, like I said, lipsticks, eyeshadows, blushes, and they use their skins to give it that red color. So any product that you see, so you wanna look out for anything that has carmine, that's another name for it. I'll put the name of that on the screen. So carmine or natural red number four, or sometimes it actually even says cochineal on it. So you wanna look for those three buzzwords, and that would mean that it has this insect cochineal insect in the product. So I had no idea about that. I wear red stuff all the time. I wear blush every day. So I don't know, I just, I'm just giving this as informative information. I just wanna know your guys' thoughts about that because when I learned it, I was shocked. I still don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that's offensive, if that makes me mad or if I'm just okay with it, I don't know. I'm still processing it all. I literally have just like been researching this the last week. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about that. So they take the insect, they boil it down, and the skin of that insect and in the inside gives things a red color. Now I did look it up, I digged and I digged and I digged, and there are a few cases of people that around the world that have reported that they have an allergy to cochineal, but it's very rare, like I think I found like 10 cases that I could find online, but it's very rare. But because some people have had like really severe allergies to it, all products that have it in there, they must list it. So you wanna look for natural red number four, cochineal or carmine acid, and that way you know. Some people have no reaction at all. Like I looked at a couple of my blushes and my lipsticks and they do have natural red number four, and I've never had an allergic reaction. It's very uncommon. So yeah, it's very uncommon to have a reaction, but they do have to put that on there if the ingredient is in there because some people have had allergic reactions. I'm st like I said, I'm still processing it. I don't know how I feel about it. I've never had a reaction. I feel fine, but you know, long-term effects of these things usually show like years down the line. So let me know if you're vegan, if you eat pepperoni every day of your life, or if you're vegetarian, let me know how you feel about that. So the next interesting non-vegan ingredient that I learned about is guanine. And you can find guanine, I'll put the name of it on the screen. Guanine is in everything from bath products to perfumes to makeup to concealers. And it is made up from skit, skit, fish scales. How shocking is that? Like I had no idea. So I actually went to look at a lot of my stuff that, um, in my collection and I was like, I wonder what has fish scales in it. So guanine gives products a white color. 
Um, so anything that you have that's light colored, like powder, some foundations, some concealers, even some of your bath products, if they're white or they're light, it may have guanine in them. And just know that that is made from fish scales and it comes from all different types of fish. And they use the fish scales to create guanine, which gives things a white or light color. So isn't that interesting? Did any of you guys know that? Because I had no idea. And I actually went to look at a lot of my makeup products and I saw that ingredient listed in there. So very, very interesting. All right, so those are the two non-vegan ingredients that you wanna look out for in your makeup, or maybe you don't. I wanna know your thoughts, really, guys. Tell me down below, share this with anyone that you think might find it interesting, and let me know what their thoughts are. Comment down below, like, do you find this offensive? Do you find it helpful? Do you care? Do you not care? Does it matter if there's insects and in coloring in your makeup? I'm just curious to know your thoughts. For me, I just think it's informative. Um, like I said, I'm still processing it. I just don't know. Because when I'm doing my research, I've been researching this for a while, and I found that no one, like there's no research that anyone has died from using natural red number four, or no one's dying from using guanine. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, if you find it helpful, let me know, cause I have become a makeup ingredient book nerd. I feel like I'm like becoming an encyclopedia of like makeup ingredients. So <laughs> if you wanna see more of these, let me know and I can get on it. And that's it for me. Don't forget to share this with anyone you think that might find it helpful and I'll see you soon. Bye.